Hey guys, today we're gonna be talking about another upcoming free-to-play crypto game from the same team behind HeroFi. The official launch will be this December, and this game is Legend Guardians. Legend Guardians is an ARPG game combined with team strategy gameplay, integrated with blockchain technology. The game is also developed using the Unity engine. My first impressions of the game are good, especially the art style. I like the graphics they used with this game better than Hero Fi. The characters just look more fun and punchy, which is a good look for this game genre. Like its predecessor, Legend Guardians is also a free-to-earn game, because the devs are giving each player one hero to start playing the game. Again, this is a great choice from the devs, because there are a lot more players ready to play low-to-no-cost entry games than ones with insane entry points. Just like with Hero Fi, this game can achieve mass adoption faster because it is free to play. But of course, in order to make people stay, the game itself has to be good. I sure hope it is because I am really loving the art. To get started with the game, you need at least one hero. To get one, you can either hatch an egg or buy one from their marketplace. Lucky for players, the devs are giving each player one hero to get started with the game. Since the team behind Legend Guardians is the same team behind HeroFi, you might see similarities with the hero systems. For example, there are also two kinds of heroes in Legend Guardians, Genesis Heroes and Normal Heroes. Similar to HeroFi, Genesis Heroes have a minimum of 3 star rating and a maximum of 6 stars. They do not age and Genesis Hero couples that breed only take 10 days, and this is a fixed time. There will only be 5,200 Genesis heroes in the game to exist. Normal heroes are the offspring of Genesis heroes. They will always have a star rating between 1 to 3, and their star rating is inherited from their lower starred parents minus 1. Normal heroes age, and the time they take to reproduce depends on their age. Here's a chart for that. Normal heroes can be reproduced infinitely, and when you start the game, you automatically get one free normal hero. We made this video before release date so you could have the chance to learn about the game before it launches. Their beta is also live on their site right now, so you can check that out too. Since everyone gets a free hero, you can try the game yourself if you want after knowing the basics here. If you want to talk more about Legend Guardians or any other crypto game, you can join our Discord over at Survivors, where we have a friendly community who are all interested in the play to earn scene. There are 5 classes of heroes in the game, which decides their fighting style. There are Warriors, Hunters, Mages, Assassins, and Shamans. Heroes can be leveled up to 30, and when they reach max level, they can undergo ascension to reach a higher star tier and better stats, up to a maximum of 6 stars. Each hero has 3 active skills and 1 passive skill, which are diverse with different attributes and effects. Skills are also boosted when they have the same element as the hero using it, just like in Hero Fi. Examples of skill effects are Great melee damage, area damage, healing, or elemental effects on enemies. Like in Hero Fi, heroes can also breed in Legend Guardians, and the element and skill set of the offspring depends on the parents. To breed, you will need the male and female version of the hero. There is also a race system in the game, with 5 different races. These are Human, Beast, Demon, Elf, and Undead. There's a damage bonus when heroes fight another hero with a race they counter. Here is the race counter chart. There are also certain bonuses when heroes from the same race are on your team. For example, when you have both a Demon and Undead, you have 10% damage bonus. And if you have 1 Beast and 2 Elves, you get 15% damage bonus along with 10% max health bonus. This can allow players to think of better comps according to their fighting style. Now let's get to the gameplay. There are two modes in Legend Guardians, Campaign Mode and Arena Mode. Campaign Mode is the PvE aspect of the game, where you can explore the world and fight monsters. There are many upcoming modes under Campaign, such as Story Mode, Asha Tower, Chaos Gate, and Daily Dungeon. In campaign, you can earn Rofi and other in-game items such as gold and skill books to upgrade your hero. Arena mode is the PvP mode. This is where players can fight other players to increase their rank on the leaderboard. The higher your rank, the more Rofi you can earn. You will need arena tickets to fight here, but the game will give you two free fights in the arena per day. 
As you can see, the game modes are pretty similar to Hero 5, so players coming from that game won't be a stranger to this game. Now let's get to the tokenomics. The game has two tokens, the same ones that Hero 5 use, the Hero Egg token and the Ro5 token. The Hero Egg token is used for hatching a Genesis Hero NFT, and you need 100,000 Hero Egg to hatch one egg. Heroes you get from hatching an egg will always be a Genesis Hero, and they are limited edition. The Ro5 token is the main token of the game and the Hero5 ecosystem. It is used for leveling up items, characters, and rewards in general. There is no predetermined total supply, but circulation is managed by token burns. Every time Rofi is used in game, 60% is burned, 18% goes to the devs, 2% to the advisors, 10% for development and marketing, and the last 10% for adding liquidity. This is the chart for the flow of the game, starting from getting heroes, playing, and getting rewards. I think the pairing of these two tokens can keep the economy healthy, just like with Hero5, with the Hero Egg token acting as the anchor. With the proposed ways of burning to manage row fire circulation, this game can also achieve a steady growth. Since the game is part of the Hero5 multiverse, they utilize the same tokens, row fire and Hero Egg, which allows more use cases for them. This is good for the circulation of the tokens. A new addition to the Hero5 multiverse with Legend Guardians is NFT Essence. Essence can be used to travel your heroes from the Hero5 game to Legend Guardians. Hero5 heroes, when converted to this game's character, will have the equivalent star level and receive the equivalent reward Ro5 pool according to their level. More details about Legend Guardians will be announced in the future. This is a pretty cool feature because if you have extra heroes in Hero5, now you can transfer them to Legend Guardians instead of buying a whole new set. The team behind Legend Guardians is Brave Stars, the same team behind Hero5 and the Hero5 multiverse. The company has made over 70 games in the past 8 years and they have solid experience in game development. I checked their LinkedIn and YouTube channel and the games they developed have similar graphics. That's a good sign because the project has an experience and legit team behind the curtains. Overall, I'm excited for this game because I am really loving the graphics here compared to Hero5. It's nice that they're giving away another free hero for this game so it won't hurt to try playing it again. I've had decent experience with Hero5, and if you want a more in-depth look on the earnings, you can check out the previous video I made about it. What do you think about Legend Guardians? Will you be waiting for the game launch this December to get your free hero? Let me know in the comments. And if you want to talk to other people who are friendly and are all about crypto gaming, you are welcome in our Discord over at Survivors. That's it for today, see you next video!